All right. Today we're shaking off the cobwebs. We're gonna pull the car back. We're gonna make a plate for the shifter and install the shifter. Watch out. But first, let me fix a hose job. Bam, let's bam, bam. Okay, well, I know I didn't show this, but uh, my dad's hose was leaking since he's gone with my van. I knew I had a brand new one kicking around somewhere, but I mean, you know, look at the mess. You think you'll find anything? Nope, no problem. It was right there with the steering box and the other stuff that for this truck, but no, 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 no. Of course it's not gonna be that. So what I did is Eve had a truck outside that he's pulling the box off of and he's uh, gonna keep the box. I, my dad paid for the doors, so we're gonna put the doors on this thing. Those doors are pretty mint. <coughs> but anyways, the only thing that the guy that uh, bought the motor for the truck, took the motor out, the only thing he didn't cut off or hack or do nothing was the one power steering line that I needed. I was like, awesome. So I take the line off, being as careful as I can, because it's an old one, right? And it wasn't working very well. So uh, I get the line, and this is rusted, you know? So I put it in the vise, I heat it up, I put the, you know, I put the, some penetrating fluid in there, and uh, oh, cool, get it out. But, the, but the, the edge, the little circle here, was was weak. So, you know, I was like, fuck, I'll just braise it and you know, build it up a bit. And I had it on a bad angle, and it broke off. Ah, it would have worked, too. It was a little weak, but it would have worked if I wouldn't have had the hose on a stupid angle. It heat up and bent and broke over. Anyways, a quick look at the gun there I was putting together. This is Mars's old 410. You know, probably not going to use it too, too much. But we cleaned it up, made it look good. Scores. So uh, we got a fire going, and uh, we're going to get this done, and then we get to work on the Camaro. It's going to be awesome. All right. This is what we're looking at for the shifter setup. I'm just making, uh, I pulled the car out here so we can start cleaning stuff out of it. But uh, see, I did that a long time ago. I had a, I got the two loops right there, right? There and there for the drive shaft. So I welded a piece, a tab, so I'd be able to, holy fuck camera. Camera, it's just aluminum. Stop freaking out, man. Anyways, I welded that tab there. And that one's sticking out there, and then I'll be able to make my my tunnel. But uh, I'm going to weld the piece across. Holy fuck, camera. Anyways, you've seen that. Oh, shit. We'll talk about that after. Um, as you see, that's this piece. This piece is going to be welded across. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to, like, i got a clamp there. I'm going to transfer punch my holes to drill. And what I'm going to do is I'll be able, to, I'm going to weld, I'm going to bolt it all up, I'm going to weld the nuts underneath, so they'll always stay there, and if I have to take it apart, I'll just take the, the bolts out. And super easy, super simple. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to transfer punch everything, and drill it all out, uh, weld the nuts on the back. I don't, the thing is, is I don't know if I have, you know, four good nuts here. <laughs> I know I've got two. I don't know if I've got four good nuts for that, so I'll probably have to pick that up tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, we're getting some work done. So let me drill some holes and uh, I'll get back to you. Man, I get a boner looking at this thing all the time. Fuck. Can't wait till it makes noise. It's gonna be so sweet. Okay, so I'm over here. I got two pilot holes drilled and uh, I love this little clamp thing because you don't have to clamp this down. So all I do is I move, you know, I move this thing around 
and then I could just fucking clamp the fucking thing down and it's good to go. So okay, so I'm gonna reposition this thing. I'm gonna get the two back ones. And uh, maybe I'll film it. Give me a second. All right, I'm all positioned. The dr little drill bit hits the hole. You can see the hole right there, right? The, the punch. Penetration! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, let's set up for the next one. Oh, all the way through. Amazing! Hey buddy! Hey buddy, what are you doing? You don't like noise, eh? She doesn't like the noise. Alright, well I got Dan in the shop. Oh my god, he's gotta stay up for a shift, so uh, he's gonna help me on the shop tonight. Okay. I uh, welded those uh, nuts underneath. Look at the fucking clearance. Oh Jesus, Murphy, it's like engineer. perfect. He's engineering. So now I'm gonna weld that piece in. That, that straight bar in, and the shifter will be exactly where I want it. So Dan is gonna run the pedal for me while I'm in there. And uh, you think you could pedal and film at the same time? Sure it's pretty I fucking, think, it's I complicated think, this thing. I think I might be able to. Okay, so the, the really hard part is for me to get situated in there, but it won't be so bad if Dan's fucking pedaling, you know? You need to pedal when I push, and a push and the pedal. All right, let's go. On this episode of Reva's Radical Ride, we watched the TIG welding bear get into his aluminum den to weld upon this device here. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Maybe I should be. Maybe he should move the angulation bars and, uh, you know, then he'd have a better... Oh, he's entering. Look at the form. Great form. Floor, the floor is solid. All right, we've got uh, okay, I'm we've gonna got the foot pedal here. I'm gonna apply the foot. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when. All right, we're ready. Make sure everything is nice and right, screwed look, up. Look, 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 and listen, and uh, you can see. You tell me when. Jesus fuck. That might have been a bad idea, eh? Okay. Hang on. Try again. As you can see, we're making precision welds here. Sticking, god damn it. It's not going well. We might abort mission. Okay, hang on. Up. That's tacked in. When you say hang on, that means I keep on the pedal, you know, so when you want me off the pedal, you just have to instruct me to, to stop fucking pedaling or something, you know? That's pretty solid, that one tic tac weld there you got. You want to break it, that's what you're doing. Don't break it. Um, can you give me a hammer real quick? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Ham yeah, hammer yeah. intermission. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no. I don't like this at all. There's too many thingamajigs. Oh my god, there's bars, and I don't even know how I welded this place together. <laughs> it's like a home. Deeper. Okay, hang on. Okay, make uh, action. Fucking helmet stopped working for two seconds. You wouldn't know. It really hurt my eyes. <laughs> I'm blind now. Yeah. Ah, I did it again, you fucking. <laughs> ah! Stop! The Holy fuck! The <laughs> helmet's going on and off! It's actually not bad for what it is. I don't know what it is, but. It's a weld. Yeah, we can clean up that aluminum you took, after. You took two pieces of steel and you put liquid hot magma in between them. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you made them into one piece of metal. Hot magma. Liquid hot magma. Okay, this going to be a little tricky. I'm going to put my foot in the way so I can have some... Try and be steady here on the camera, yeah? Well, it's not good for the camera to see this shit, but... Oh, well. Okay, see what you can feed me there, bro. Good stop. I don't know. Hey, go. It's funny, I could barely see what's going on, I'm just guessing right now. Alright, you know, just feel it out. Yeah, feeling it out. It's like a girl's boobs, eh? Sure. You just gotta feel it out. No, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> Stop videotaping! God. So I'm just sitting in the shop here, and uh, me and Joke, hey Joke, from other videos as, you know, Berry Flea Market and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we brought the Camaro in on this side. So I'm gonna put her up on the hoist. I'm gonna set up all the uh, the rest of the linkage for the shifter. And uh, JP shows up. Ha da da! And uh, JP, I don't know if you guys remember last time, but uh, he brought one of these mounts for Mars for his camera. And Mars, in his last video, well, he said he needed a new one. And uh, JP, watch that video. Hey hey! So uh, Mars, you're getting a brand new one. I'm gonna put that in the mail for you, buddy. I want what you love them. Eh, eh, a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I got the car in the air here, and uh, I want to build a little, little pad here. So the back of the rack, so the back of the rack has a little step in it there, so that sits in there good and it doesn't fucking move around. Same with this side. All right, well. I just got my shifter cable all installed. It's good to go. Uh, I think I'm gonna, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna either, I'm really confused, you know, so many little things to do and I, I don't know what to do, so. I think I'm going to reroute my fuel line back to the other side where it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna run some brake lines. Just to say that they're there. I still have to put the brakes in. If the brakes aren't in, I just put the brackets up. I gotta make sure all my things are tight. Like, I don't even have nuts on these. It was just too, uh, I mean, it's not even finished welded. So I gotta go over a lot of the things and fix it all up, because lots of things need to be fixed and welded and things. And But uh, yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. Do some paintings and cleaning up. Uh, I don't miss their training. I need a, a blocker for the speedo thing. So not too bad, but not too bad. I know you can't really see it, but uh, right here, there, I welded in those bump stop things. Not a bump stop. But it's gonna help the rack. The rack before was moving side to side a bit. So that's going to stop the side to side movement. So everything will work and clear perfectly. So I was routing my fuel line until I figured I had the wrong grommets. This is what was on there before, which is like a, you know, like a 916s or a 5.8s. These ones are only half inch, so my bad. So I'm going to have to get some new ones from the old pig irons yeah anyways what else can we talk about oh yeah I uh, I ordered two fans for the rad um, I don't know I don't know what else just, I don't know what else just gonna rope my brick lines and put some things and make it stay up on the frame uh, nice tires, they gotta go. They're no good for racing. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess it's a little update for now, and, uh, we'll see. 
Just flaring up some brake lines. Pretty flare. Pretty blurry. All right. So far, this is what I got going on. I got from the uh, masters. I got the one going down and under. I got these nice little. Uh, oh my God. No, don't focus. I got these nice little clips. I got it hooked up. So far, I got it to that T. That's the old T from before. So I gotta probably have to redo half this stuff because the rear calipers have some hoses on them. So yeah. So that's the back. And so far for the front, I got that going into the. Uh, Oh my god, I'm going to forget the word. I forgot the word. Uh, line lock. Oh, Dick, got it. To that splitter right there. That's to the front hose. And uh, I have this one made up so far. That's going to go like, you know, you can figure it out. It goes up there. But yeah, so. That's where I'm at with that. Sweet. Sweet. Got little tabby dabblies holding the line down. Oh, just look at it. Except for it doesn't focus, but yeah. Yeah. So the brakes are all plumbed except for the back. Tomorrow we will work on these calipers. So I'm just sitting here enjoying my coffee and I uh, figured I'd share this with you guys there. I know I did a couple videos on it before, I just don't know where I put them. But uh, a while back, a bloke sent me a sticker. So when I went down to visit Pug, I uh, left a sticker with Pug, hoping that he got it. So I don't even know what happened, I asked him and uh, didn't get confirmation on that. But uh, yeah, if you let me know, buddy, if you didn't get one, I'll send you another one. But, uh, yeah, and I uh, got some mail from Little Doggy. Yep, I don't think I have to kill Old Man Winter. It's, uh, it's getting really nice out this year. I think the effects from uh, last year have done it. I was debating, though. But uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll get colder and uh, maybe I'll do something on that. But uh, that's that. So go check them out online on the YouTubes. Little Doggy Piccolo Bob. And the Crazy British Bloke.